wow, wow, wow. Well, 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 it appears there's a box. Now there's only one thing to do with a box and you guys know what that is. Um, you just, you have it here. It exists. It stays here forever. Uh, and then it lives and you just move to the side of the box and slap it out of the way. Cause it, you don't have time for it to live there. You've got stuff to do. There are guitars to play. Ugh. So come on box. You know, you know you can't live there. All right, so the first thing I want to say, though, is that this is not a sponsored video in any way. That's why I'm okay with calling this a perfect guitar, because I bought this guitar myself from Sweetwater. Uh, again, no special treatment, uh, just just a great guitar that I've been wanting for a long time. And actually, I'm going to blame this this purchase on, on Tim Pierce and Sean Tubbs, but I'll get more on that here a little bit later. But we're also, you know, something I've really tried to do this year is each time that I got a guitar, um, I've tried to give away a guitar as well to kind of like pay it forward. So we're also going to give away a guitar. So let's go ahead and cut all the chit chat. I'm going to open this thing up. And there's also a little bit of a tune here I'm going to show you that I wrote. And uh, Mr. Sean Tubbs, one of my favorite guitar players ever, uh, was nice enough to leave a solo. So make sure you check out his channel as well. It's going to be linked down below. He did such a great job. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you guys what's in here. Oh my God. All right, so let's do this. Now, one thing that I see a lot is you know, I, I think maybe if you just see the thumbnails, you think that uh, I just get a new guitar every week or something like that. I've, I've actually had this guitar for about a month or two now, but also you have to remember the majority of the guitars that I've unboxed on the channel and done all that stuff with, I, I've given them away. You know, that, that was our, our huge goal. We didn't hit our goal. Um, I was hoping to give away 12 guitars this year. I think we have 10, including the ones that we've given away on Instagram. So um, next year, our goal is really to try to hit that 12 12th guitar giveaway throughout the year. But um, yeah, a lot of those guitars aren't mine. So don't think that I'm just getting a new guitar every week for myself and just hoarding them all over here. Uh, that's not the case. I feel fortunate to get the guitars. I'm very appreciative of you guys. So that's why whenever I do get a guitar for myself, I wanna make sure that I'm paying it forward. So like I said, I'll show you the, the guitar that we're gonna give away here in just a minute. But this one, it's perfect. It's perfect. And like I said, I, I blame Tim and Sean 100%. It's their fault. Can you see it? Oh, I bet you guys weren't expecting this. Uh, the way I'll get the women board here in a second. There it is. There it is. Uh, I guess the first thing that I have to blame this guitar on, if you don't know what this is, this is a PRS DGT. Uh, you can see back there, ugh, my CE24. I got that uh, almost two years ago now. And uh, maybe a little over a year and a half, whatever it's been, I'm just gonna say two years. And that one was kind of like the gateway to PRS for me. I'm, I'm still so in love with that CE24. I use it all the time. It made me seriously reconsider. Because when I got it, I was just kind of like, oh, this is it. This is my PRS. I don't need another one. And it, it, it kind of gave me the, the bug. I was like, hey, do I want to like move into like a core PRS? And I was really kind of like thinking about McCarty. But what happened was the way those pickups split on the CE and how good the tremolo system was, it made me want to go DGT. And I like the fact that there's two volume knobs. So this is, uh, if you don't know what the DGT stands for, it's David Grissom, which is, is kind of ironic because I hadn't listened to David. I, I didn't buy this necessarily. Uh, I'm a fan of David now, but when I originally wanted one of these guitars, it was all because of Mr. Tubbs, Mr. Sean Tubbs. Uh, he play, has this gold one that is just beautiful. So, and actually, you know what? Before I get talking too much, let, let's hear the little tune that Sean uh, was nice enough to lend a solo to.
So like I said, Sean was the whole gateway to the DGT thing, and I, and I actually got to play Sean's a couple of summer NAMs ago, and I really like the neck on it. And uh, I have to say, man, these are some of the best sounding pickups I've ever heard. Uh, whatever the, I, I hope PRS sells these uh, because they are so good. If they're not, man, I guarantee you they would sell a ton of these. These are just some of the best PAF style humbuckers I've ever heard. This is an incredible guitar. Uh, the coil splitting is right on par, just like what I thought it would be. And um, I don't know. Like I said, if specs, I'll link it down below. It's, it's probably going to be an affiliate link. But, um, you know, it just has so much vibe. I've been playing this guitar almost exclusively uh, since I got it. I, I play it so much. And it does what I, want, what I wanted. And the reason why I'm calling it a perfect guitar is because... I wanted a guitar, and actually, I made a video not too long ago why I don't want a perfect guitar, and Tim uh, Pierce kind of changed my mind, because he, when we, I did a video with him, and we were talking about how, he's like, you know, sometimes you want that guitar that fights you a little bit, and sometimes you want a guitar that just plays itself, you know, and it really got me thinking, I was like, yeah, you know, maybe I'm, I'm too caught up in like, no, no, it needs to have higher action and all this stuff, so I, I started kind of setting some of my guitar actions lower, and it really got me thinking about the PRS because I like the CE so much. And sure enough, I was just like, I do want one of these. I want a DGT. And actually, Tim uh, had just gotten one. So I was, I was like talking to him. I was like, dude, can I ask you some questions about the DGT versus the McCarty? And, and he was real, real helpful, a real, real good, bad influence. Uh, so thank you for all your help, Tim and Sean and Sean doing that solo. So this thing's amazing. Like I said, if you want specs, I don't even know what the specs are on this guitar. It's mahogany. Uh, it's, it's very like Les Pauly. You know, you got the maple maple cap on it, the PAF style pickups. But if you want like super nitty gritty details, I don't know it. I do still have the four. Oh, there's five springs. I haven't adjusted the springs yet for the tremolo. I'm definitely going to take uh, probably one or two of those springs out at some point. And um, I don't know, it's incredible. I love this guitar. I didn't think I was a PRS person for the longest time, but man, that, like I said, that CE24 has completely changed my mind. And um, I'll let you guys hear some tones. And then uh, before I, I play the guitar, why don't we talk about the giveaway? So what guitar are we giving away? Hell, double PRS day. Uh, so this guitar, if you haven't seen my other video on it, uh, obviously there's a story behind this one. Uh, you can check that out if you want to, but um, this guitar ended up, uh, it was sent to me as, as a loner, and uh, basically, you know, it was here for a while, and uh, Gene over there was like, well, what if you, uh, why don't you hang on to it and just use it in some videos, and you know, and, and like I said, you know, they, they gave it to me, basically, and I was like, wow, thank you, that's it's such a nice guitar, I was like, that's very, very nice of you guys. So I had already purchased this one, so I ended up messaging Gene, and I was just like, hey, you know, I don't want to come across as unappreciative that you guys gave me this guitar. You know, it's the last thing I want to do. But I was like, how would you feel if I gave it away? I just I explained to her, I said, you know, I'm trying this new thing where if I get a guitar, I like to give something away too. Um, I said, you know, I'll, I'll pay for shipping, all that kind of stuff. It's, it's nothing that PRS has to cover. Um, I just wanted to make sure that, you know, you're okay with it because I'm not trying to be like, oh, you gave me a guitar? Here, let me give it away. You know, because if, if a company gives me a guitar, I don't like to get rid of it, you know? So, and this one was given to me. So she was like, no, I love that idea. Go ahead, do it. I was like, oh, awesome. And they've just been so great to work with over there. And um, so I was excited. I was like, oh man, I can't wait. This will be the final guitar giveaway of the year. It's, this is a phenomenal guitar. If you haven't checked out these SE Paul guitars, um, I really like the single cut switching on it. Again, it's stop tail. It is black backed and you have your maple cap on it. All that stuff. Like I said, I did another video on it, but this is, this is the guitar we're giving away. This is this is a good one to end the year on. It's a really nice guitar. So here's how you win this guitar, and make sure you listen to the whole thing because some people didn't listen to the last you know uh, giveaway and they they just got disqualified. So please hear out the whole thing. So all you have to do is leave a comment with who is your favorite guitar player. Look, I can't follow my own instructions. You also have to subscribe. The comment and subscribe, and then really listen to this next part. Very important. Just leave a comment down below. Who's your favorite guitar player? It can be. It can be your dad, it can be Eddie Van Halen, it can be whoever you want. That's it. That's all you have to do. Now, here's the stipulations though. Make sure you listen. Is that please don't include any links. If you include links, it is marked as spam and I won't see it and you won't be entered, okay? The other thing is one entry per person. It's open worldwide and I will be announcing it in two weeks. 
on Sunday from two weeks now in a normal video. There's not gonna be a dedicated giveaway video. So make sure that you check the date on the screen. That's when it's gonna be there. Please don't email, I get bombarded with emails with each of these giveaways, but that's when it's gonna be announced. You can check the video that's uploaded on that day. And um, that's it, that's all you have to do. So like I said, uh, super, super simple. I wanted to make sure that we end the year, you know, what a year 2020 has been, but um, hopefully uh, these giveaways and the guitar videos and all that kind of stuff have been helpful to someone. And um, I just hope you guys have a good rest of your 2020 and, and rock on into 2021. So the giveaway will technically be taking place in 2021, but it's still ending right now. And also just note that I really appreciate you guys, all the support. Obviously, I couldn't do these giveaways and stuff if, if it wasn't for you. I couldn't get the guitars that I have if it wasn't for you. So don't think that I'm ever trying to just be greedy and hoard it all over here for myself because I don't want to do that. Um, I want to make sure that we're sharing and just, just playing guitar. That's what really counts now. Back to the other guitar. All right, so let's hear this bad mamma jamma. So like I said, I'm just gonna run into the Axe Effects. Like I said, uh, just a real quick thing. Actually, I should probably record some audio, shouldn't I? So like I said, I didn't buy this guitar for maybe the reason that you might think. Um, it wasn't meant to be this like shredder guitar. You know, the way that I kind of fell in love with the sound of the DGT was very much the way that Sean and Tim play, this, this more like melodic style. Um, you can certainly shred on it if you want to but that wasn't what I got it for. I, I wanted these kind of like breakup tones, the clean tones. Um, it handles high gain really, really well with these, you know, PAF style pickups. But um, that wasn't really what I what I personally got it for. I, I wanted it for that, um, like the icing on the cake guitar. Like when I'm recording a song, whether for myself or someone else, if it's like a remote session or whatever, um, I wanted to have a guitar that could just kind of like cover the gamut. You know, a lot of times when I record, uh, let me play it for just a second before I, I'll shut up talking. What I was trying to say was, I was just like, I'm talking so much. Um, the reason why I, I love the PRS, like the CE so much, is because it's it's the, a really good tracking guitar. You know, it like it adds more layers to music. It's not like the only guitar I track with, but I do a lot of rough drafts with it to where it can cover the gamut. So that's why I was like, okay, well, I want a guitar that has lower output pickups in it, a different style neck. The CE necks are a little bit thin. You know, I wish it was a little bit thicker of a neck, but you know, uh, what, what can you do? Um, like you get a DGT, that's what you can do. <laughs> and um, this one, as soon as I played it, I was like, woo, woo. And I, I believe the pickups are exactly the same, the neck and the humbucker, because it was meant to be like the old old Gibsons. You know, there wasn't a neck pickup, there wasn't a bridge pickup, it was, they were all just PAF pickups. And uh, it's about height and all that kind of stuff of your pickup. So like I said, I have it coil split right now. there that's something i liked about this guitar right away is the notes just hold and sustain forever so you can do those like real slidey moves the note just hangs there forever i love that so much That tone right there, oh, I love it. It's like a, a thick strat sound almost, you know? It doesn't get uh, in that, that kind of like snap of a strat. Uh, I'm sure I could if I raise this up a little bit more. 
Um, and then the bridge, when you put it in humbucker mode. It's so good. Now I know I have a lot of delay and and reverb on here. So I'll, I'll turn it down a little bit. A lot of people complain. They're like, I wish you would turn it down just for a minute. That way we can really hear the voice of the guitar. So here's the delay turned off. And I'm not gonna turn the reverb off, but I'm turning it way down. Okay, so you can hear it's still there. It's in the background, but... Um... the bridge with the less reverb. I just prefer the sound, especially when I kick the delay in. Then turn the reverb back up to where I like it. <laughs> I just like how big it sounds, you know? Now let's hear it with like my normal like distortion tone, you know, um, white socks and all. I just saw my socks in the, in the camera. I'm like, oh yeah, keeping it classy as always, right? Here's my normal lead high high rhythm, lead high gain sound. I'm not, I don't know what I'm saying uh, with the axe effect. <laughs> Like how I didn't know what the lick was gonna turn into and I just like failed miserably. <laughs> And then like here the neck is really creamy. Whoa, off the fretboard. It's just such an easy guitar. Like I said, it's not what I got it for, but you can just burn on this thing and, and it's so effortless to play. Got super sloppy there at the end, but it's just it's so easy to play this guitar. That's why I'm, I'm like addicted to it. I'm like, I got it. I'm like, okay. I see why Tim's always wanting these guitars to just play so easy. So yeah, thank you guys again. Make sure you enter the giveaway. Uh, like I said before, always know we really appreciate you guys. And um, cool stuff is on the way. Uh, there's actually another giveaway going to be happening right at the beginning of 2021. Something very cool. And actually, uh, too bad it didn't happen this year because it would have been the biggest giveaway of the year. <laughs> But um, it's going to happen here right to kick off 2021. So that's another one that's coming your way very, very soon. And um, other than that, guys, hey, have a great rest of your day. Um, it, obviously, you, actually, uh, you'll be seeing this after Christmas. So i um, shooting it before Christmas. But I um, hope you all had a great Christmas, holiday, uh, whatever you're celebrating. I hope that you end 2020 in the best way that you possibly can. But, you know, let's put this, put this year in the rearview mirror. 
And um, I'll be seeing you all real soon. So uh, what should we name this guitar? Any, any name suggestions? I haven't named this one yet. Like I said, I've had it for a month or two um, and I haven't named it. We'll figure something out though. I like it. You know what's funny about this guitar? There's like this dark spot right here in the corner. I, I, that's one of the reasons why I liked it. Cause it wasn't like, it's not a, like a flaw, but you know, it, it just kind of sticks out. And I was like, oh, that's kind of funky. I like that. So there you have it. So, all right guys, I'll play you some rhythm out of here and just uh, have a good rest of your day. All right, later homies. Whoop. Actually, sorry, no rhythm. I'm just gonna improvise something and see what happens. So uh, we'll let the guitar decide how the video is gonna end. Maybe it'll turn into rhythm, who knows? <laughs> so um, uh, anyways, I'm gonna shut up now and get out of here. Bye guys. Uh -huh.